Good morning. I want to quickly show you how to use the Canvas mobile app for your courses. And this is a very nice tool that will help you be successful in your online or hybrid courses, or any course for that matter that's using Canvas. Um, I'm on an Android device, but this will work similarly in the iOS or an iPhone. And so the first step is to find your app, and I have mine in my school folder here. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the Canvas student app. When it opens up, you'll see the courses that you are enrolled in. You just choose the course. I'm going to choose my 101. And now you'll see that this menu is the same menu that you see in the Canvas web version. It's the left-hand menu. And so you can click on any of these items. I always suggest that you start either with the home page, if your instructor has set that up. In my courses, I have. And the same information will show up here. So basically, if you need to get started, you hit that button, Get Started Orientation, and it'll take you right into the class page for that orientation. It'll explain to you all the things that you have to do. Now, the other way that you want to start is probably with your modules. And so if you click on Modules, you'll see a breakdown of all of the modules and then what is involved in each module. So again, if you start at the beginning like you should with the modules, you'll end back up at that page explaining to you what you need to do to get started. And then you can either click across the bottom with that little arrow, or if you go back to modules, you can just click on the next item down. So the next item down is to download the syllabus. So if I click that, I get the opportunity to download it. And it'll download to wherever you want to do it. You can, uh, I'm going to allow that and then I can download that document. Now once I finish downloading that document and reading it, hint hint, you want to then hit the next arrow or again you can go back to modules and click the next thing. So what I'm going to show you just quickly here are the different types of assignments that you'll see in Canvas. Uh, the first one is a quiz. That's what that little rocket is. I never understood the rocket. Uh, this one is just an assignment and then this one is a discussion. And so in order to uh, do the quiz, you read the instructions. And then at the very bottom, it'll say go to the quiz. Now for students, you'll scroll through and read the instructions for this quiz. And then at the bottom, it'll say take me to the quiz or start the quiz. And mine says preview as an instructor. OK, so now I have my quiz instructions. And now I can start answering my questions. And then at the very bottom, you'll be able to see where you would submit the quiz. Okay, so that's pretty easy. Um, the second example, let's go back to this module tab here, is an assignment. And sometimes your instructor, especially in my classes, you'll end up with some sort of an external tool as your assignment. You might do a flip grip video or a soft chalk lesson or uh, all, there's all kinds of things that can be involved in this. And all you have to do is make sure that you click where it says launch the external tool. And once you click that, you'll then be able to see the lesson. And so in this case, I have a side menu and the side menu is covering up my lesson. Boohoo. If you hit this hamburger menu off to the right here, top in the black, that'll remove that and then you can see the lesson. Okay, and you can answer any questions that are in there. And then at the bottom, you can go to the next page of the lesson. And if for any reason you want to see the menu again, you can hit that and go back and see the contents of this lesson. So those are pretty easy. Just remember to hit the Launch External Tool. And then lastly, you have discussions in some of your online classes or hybrid classes. And they're pretty easy to participate in these as well. So you go ahead and read the instructions and watch any media that's available to you. And then you hit the reply button, and then you're able to type your message. Hi, class. Woohoo. I'm excited to be here. Yay. Thumbs up. Okay, and then of course, once you're done, you hit the arrow at the top right, and then you will post your reply. All right, so I'm not going to post that. <laughs> so that's basically how this will work in Canvas on the mobile app. If you have any questions, Ask me or ask your teacher.